Good morning. We are, where are we? Mobile, Alabama. Or just a, a rest stop close to Mobile, Alabama. It's like a welcome center here uh, off of I-10. And it was our first time ever doing basically like a, a dry camp run. So never really you know put the pump on and you know use the shower and everything so we was able to come here overnight get our showers um it went really really well so we're at this truck stop well actually it's not a truck stop it's actually a rest stop this is where all the truckers are and i think i saw here we go we got a class a over there in the background um but yeah safe nicely lit very busy throughout the night but we was able to get our sleep we had a long day of travel and we left yesterday Yesterday morning, we wanted to leave at 4 a.m. Four day in the morning. That's one of our terms from our late, great um, father-in-law, CH. Uh, four day in the morning, but we left actually at five. And we got to this point right here. I want to say like 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. So we, we made it a whole day's trip um, from Texas. We got to here. So planning to go to Pensacola. I think Dara's made some reservations at a spot up there. Um, looking forward to what that might look like. But yeah, so our first time using like the dry camping, I guess function, what you want to call it. Uh, and it went well. The pump worked well, water heater went well, everything worked the way it was supposed to. So just wanted to share that with you guys. We're still newbies at it, so we're, we're trying to get the hang of this thing. And it was a really good opportunity to try it out. So we'll check in in a little while. Hey, we made it to our next day's destination. <clears throat> we uh, started out this morning from Alabama. And I'm gonna see if she does it, uh, allows me to, how's it going? See, see if Doris allows me to name our next video. Well, the video that has to do with this trip, she did it again. Cause you know what? Hi she absolutely did it again we are in destin actually fort walton beach um at the destin rv resort okaloosa county you see that up there this is another amazing rv location highly recommend this spot here goes our setup uh i'm still Still taking me a little time to back it in. I'm learning. It took me about what I don't know five passes back and forth. But this is our location, our site. We're not too close to anybody. Um, nice paved um, driveway or walkway, whatever you want to call it. Everything fits nice. Slides are out. I could have done a little better job maybe moving it up so we can take advantage of our awning but again still learning on this but um yeah we're about to walk across the street we're literally two blocks from the water so um at this point if i had a drone we'd be going up woo, and you can see where we had a location but i ain't there yet got a couple suggestions on what drone to get um but if you have some ask them to the comments I'm waiting for my queen to come outside and we're going to take a little walk. But just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know um, where we ended up. Uh, we're going to at least spend one night here. Maybe two, depending on how we wake up and if there's a bit. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Talk about you, baby girl. You did it again. Another, another fantastic location. Say hi to the peoples. There you go, you got the, you got the back wave. Hello, people. <laughs> so we're about to go take a walk and if there's anything interesting, we'll check back in. We're out here. Fort Walton Beach RV Resort, actually Destin RV Resort. West. Destin, Destin West. Yes. Destin West. You heard it first, right there, from the, from the woman of the hour who always ends up. Uh, <laughs> no, because there's lots of parts called Destin RV Parks. Uh -huh. So this one is West. Yeah, it's a little pricey, um, it is. but you know, you get what you pay for, I guess. Yes. But this is, look at what we got going on. We just walked, I don't know, 50 steps, 
And here we are. This is what we got. You got people either kneeling on the paddleboard, standing on the paddleboard. A little water right here. Beautiful view. People are enjoying this beautiful weather. It is really nice outside. We can actually just walk right down there. And boom. Yeah, that's exactly the one we were thinking about getting. That boat right there. The little, little blow up boat. Got the little dock access. So yeah, this is our backyard right now. Our steps from the backyard. Right back steps. over there. So we'll check in. Walking across the little pedestrian bridge from the RV resort over to hopefully where beaches. So we'll we'll check in. So we asked somebody that was sitting there what restaurant to go to. So he pointed it out way back there. She always wants to see what else is available. I'll check in later and let you know where we decide. Way over there. Good morning. Good morning. We are up early. Hopefully, gonna catch the sunrise in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. It's coming up behind us. Coming behind us. It looks like a big old, I don't know, that looks like a rain cloud in front of us. Let me go ahead and get up here and that's clear over there, but behind us some dark clouds. It's about to be six in the morning here. So we're just trying to catch that sunset. So we'll check in hopefully when we get over there. out earlier this morning and caught the sunrise on time lapse it was really nice very windy though uh, but right now it's really nice outside uh, was there a bathhouse inside yes in the um, in this little where you check in they have restrooms and a bath you can take your showers and stuff in there it's nice and clean also had laundry small little laundry in there um really nice facility we talked to will who checked us in place been in business he said 11 years I think he had 11 years but this i mean when you come here they keep this place really really nice it's very pretty beautiful upkeep right now obviously you can't smell it but the flowers that they got here i think it's the uh these little blossoms right here is baby breast kind, kind of smell like when you get a bouquet of roses or, or flowers that's what it smells like all around when you're walking through here um back uh back inside so you can pull in a bunch of the rv guys 
they pulled in the, uh, the very narrow site yeah very narrow absolutely tested our um our relationship when it comes to the communication <laughs> we're still new at it but we we worked it out sit over here for a second because we don't want to get in that lady's way we're speaking about backing in right now or whatever and the guy's trying to leave so we got a little situation going on over here I don't want to, trust me, it's pretty stressful when you're out there doing that thing, so. He's he's trying to back out at, uh, at Class A. He's, she's get, he's getting direction from his wife. That's, he got a big boy coming out of there, so. But yeah, we're just, um, this is one of the sites, by the way, while I'm sitting here. This is site number 25. Um, they got the trash service. Let's see if I can put that down. Oh, there we go. Trash service. You just put it out there and they come and get it. But this is one of the sites. Pretty long. Everybody gets everybody gets a little bench with an umbrella. Paid. Full full hookups. So yeah. We're just doing a little walk around so you guys get a perspective of this RV resort. Not not big at all. I mean, like, like we said before, about 40 something sites, but very, managed really well. There you go. He got it. He got it out there. <laughs> he did a good job. Got that big old thing out of there. You did a wonderful job. Good job there. <laughs> his partner got it done so that's that's our next move we're about to pull out of here i call it the walk of shame <laughs> that look when you get when you got to leave an rv resort i call it the walk of shame you got to hook everything up and, but it's cool because then we we get to look forward to you know what's coming next so but once you get settled in, it's like, ah, I gotta leave. But here, we're coming up to our site now. But again, everybody's, um, everybody pretty much enjoy this area really well. All kind of, I mean, you have from class A's, you got vans, um, travel trail like we have, fifth wheels. Here's our spot right here. Got a little license plate on the front. JD Lifestyles, 88, playing outside at the 50. Need a car wash. Oh yeah, we definitely need to wash this thing. Uh, we've been out for about, going on two months now. So we're gonna hopefully find a truck wash so we can go ahead and uh, get her cleaned up. But yeah, just again, checking in with you guys, sharing our experiences, learning as we go. We are definitely still newbies. I mean, going on, I don't know, maybe five months. But I, I can see a lot of learning going to have to happen. Uh, but it is fun. It is challenging. I don't think it's for everybody, but I think, I think we're going to be doing all right with this thing. So follow our channel. Subscribe, like, share. Let us know what you want to see um, from us. And we'll check in. All right. So... We are staying our RV resort, which is the Destin West. It's right over here. It's a little sign right there. As part of being a guest at that RV resort, you get to come and use the amenities and the beach access to this hotel, which is called the Island, which is, see if you see it above me. Let's see if I can get this thing and go up there. Oh, go like this. There we go island right so come around and let's go inside we're going in this way they offer a buffet breakfast which is right back here Got a little buffet breakfast for it's only about 20 bucks each. 
Got a little breakfast in there. Come here. And this is their that little lounge area by right in here. But you get to use their pool as well. Look how pretty that pool is. Cabana that you can sit in. Beautiful pool. Little jacuzzi. Whoop, going back down. There we go. Jacuzzi down in there. There's actually access to go little beach volleyball type situation they got going down over here. So. Ah, uh, they got a little, little bar. This looks like another little, oh, okay. Got a little lazy river going on here. So they got a little spot in here where you can play games right here. We got Jenga blocks. Big old Connect Four down there. Restrooms. Oh, let's see what the restroom look like. Some people like to see what the restrooms look like. Let's see. Let's see. Good morning. How you doing? No, ma'am. Just checking it all out. Over here. And this, this pool, it's like a little lazy river type deal. Oh no, they got a little bar over here. So if you get down in the water, get down in there, get you a little drink. And then obviously on the other side, on the other, other side of that, the beach. We went there last night or yesterday evening at dinner really nice really pretty big uh, volleyball tournament going on um this weekend so the whole beach is lined with volleyball courts so we'll go up there goes another little jacuzzi in the corner over there i see there goes the person that made it all where she at there she at there she go person that makes everything happen. All the magic. Hey look, they got another hot tub over here. Come on. Hot tub. Let's see what we got. Look at this. Looks cool right? Okay. I don't know what's going on up in here. What's this? Ooh, that just I'm going to investigate. Oh, just another little there's a little spot where you can just hang out and overlook the activities below. You want to just check on the kitties or whoever's down there enjoying the pool. So, again, you stay at Destin West RV Resort. Okay, well, you get a glimpse, a glimpse of the, the pier out there. So we walked across there, so when you go out there, you can pay $2 just to walk on to the end of the pier and just, you know, catch the views and everything. Or you can pay $8 and they allow you to fish off the pier. So $2 or $8, depending on what you want to spend and what you want to do. So it's a really nice spot to catch the sunset. All right, so I'm picking up the video off of, remember we were talking about they got pool access. So now, in this same hotel, come right through here, up there, and we can get right to that beach. So here we go, again, we just walked across the street, access and this little band that I got on my arm identifies you as being a 
guests of the RV Resort and allows you beach access and access to the amenities. Look at this here for you golfers out there. Bring out your little, you bring your putters out. Get a chance to, oops, we'll go back down. Get a chance to do your, do your skills with your putter. You have the little greens going on here. Again, I mean, this is the best of both worlds. You get your RV in a beautiful location. You have access to a bay on that side. And then when you walk across the street, you're right here. Again, across the street, beach access. Really nice. You got your cornhole all over the place here. Get down with the cornhole. Get your bean bags ready. We already caught the sunset on our side. I'm sorry, sunrise. We caught the sunrise earlier on our side. Really nice. Got some time left so that hopefully it comes out good. Look at this. Check out the pretty water. Right there, son. We love Florida beaches. We love Florida beaches for real. And if you've not experienced Florida Beach, you need to come out here on that West Coast, Gulf Coast, and this sand. You ask your friends about it. This sand right here, sugar sand. So soft, so clean. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. It is beautiful out here. We got some people enjoying just this beautiful time of the morning. Taking pictures, just sitting alone, probably thinking, walking together. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's that pier we was talking about. That's the hotel called the Island. You see the volleyball courts all the way down either side of the beach. Big tournament. sit down and enjoy this beach for a little while. 